Thank you. Good afternoon, Parramatta. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I've got a story to tell you this afternoon, and it's about Jesus. But today's a special day, and I'm going to be talking about mothers. But Jesus is the main thrust of the comments today. So I'm be reading from Proverbs 31. 27 it says she watches over the affairs of her household and does not that eat bread of idleness her children arise and all are blessed and call her blessed and verse 29 it says many women do little things or noble things but your you surpass them all. I can get my glass. No. That's better. <laughs> it says here in verse 29. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her the reward she has earned. So that's talking in Proverbs about a, a noble wife, uh, but I apply that to a mother because that's what I read was about a mother. It's an interesting thing about mothers. The best testimony about mothers is your own testimony about your mum. And I was the youngest of three in the family, and uh, I was a clingy child. I was breastfed until I was nearly two, and so I had a very close relationship with my mum. And so this was in the war years, and there was a great shortage of everything, and we had ration coupons or ration cards to buy basic food. And so all of our food in Australia was being sent over to Britain to help them fight the war over there. And so we all did it hard like they did over there as well. But she made clothes for us, and she was patient with us, and I never remember her hitting me. And she always told me that she loved me. She feared the Lord. And as proof, she took us to church every Sunday. And I was raised in the knowledge of the Lord. And it, be it began at the age of three. And I became an adherent uh, to the faith at the age of five. And I joined the Cubs and I learned uh, how to live as a good Australian. And that's to be a uh, good manner to everybody. The conclusion is this, that Mother's Day is a time to reflect on uh, what your mum does or did for you. And tell her that you love her. And thank her for being your mum. But the important thing I mentioned at the beginning was Jesus. Because Jesus is the father to the fatherless. And he's the mother to the motherless. And he brings us comfort and peace. So that's what Jesus brings. And he is love. He loves us just as Robin was telling us a minute ago. How Jesus is love. But he's also light in the dark and leads us on the paths of righteousness. And what it does, he, he actually, he bears our burden. So that's the important thing about Jesus. The important thing about Jesus is that he is God, called in the Bible, called the Son of God. And what happens is this, that he was crucified. When he did that, he let himself be crucified. And that was for the sins of the world, because when his blood was shed, God looked at that and gave uh, 
grace to those who believe for the forgiveness of their sin. So that's the wonderful thing about Jesus. He unselfishly laid down his life for us. And so, but your mum would do the same thing if put in that position. And I just want you to know this, that Mother's Day is a special day. And we've got Sister Anne going to preach in a moment. And she's been a, a wonderful mother to her children and her grandchildren over the years. And so just give her your ear. Thank you.